Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about thrifting 101. How to thrift if you don't know how or maybe you need some extra tips. If you like to go thrift shopping, I have brought my sister-in-law, Erica, in for this because she actually does a lot of secondhand shopping. She is known for having this unique item that she found secondhand for a really good price somewhere. So I wanted to bring her in because I only have literally one way that I go secondhand shopping, which I'll mention later when we get to that. Oh. And that's it. I got oh. nothing more to say besides that. I can't wait to hear um, this. It's, so, I don't even know. it's very basic. Okay. It's extremely basic and straightforward and that's it. So anyway, um, she does have her own YouTube channel. It's not about secondhand shopping, but it is about organizing <laughs> and organizing your house and, and your life. And so I will link her channel below, but let's get started with yes. uh, some questions about thrifting. Yes. And I love that people are like curious about this. Like a lot of these questions have come from from, like your viewers and they're just curious yeah. so I yeah the a lot of you guys have mentioned just I, I, almost every video people mention something about finding things secondhand or thrifting or whatever so that's what inspired this video um okay Erica so my first question in no particular order are there any tricks to finding the best stores to thrift at no or do you have personal favorites? Okay, so this is what I will say. The, I think the best places that you can find things are going to be in like higher end neighborhoods. Makes sense. So whenever I go to Detroit and like visit my grandpa, I always go thrift store shopping because I always find incredible things because it's a lot of times like wealthier people are just getting rid of their stuff. They don't care to resell it. They, they, they're just donating it. Yeah. Or I was listening to a podcast with Heather McMahon. If any of you guys know who she is, she's like a comedian, hysterical. She lives in Atlanta. That would be another good place where it's like, she's like, Hey guys, go check out. I can't remember where it was like in the suburbs or whatever of Atlanta, but she's like, I just dropped off some, you know, Gucci stuff. Oh, okay. She's like, she's like, now listen, it's from like uh, what Nordstrom rack or something like that. Yeah. She's like, it's not, you know, the, the best of the best, but that is definitely where you find higher quality type things or like luxury items. But other than that, like you just kind of have to look in your neighborhoods and like there's so many thrift stores and you kind of get to know which ones has the things that you're looking for. So some will be really heavy on books or some will be really heavy on clothing. Some home goods, sure. site, exactly. What do you see are some common mistakes when people go thrift shopping? I think, laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I think two things, either not allowing yourself enough time mm -hmm. or not really having a goal. So I would say when you're gonna go thrift store shopping, allow plenty of time. You're gonna be digging, that's how you're gonna find things. It, it's more fun that way. If you have longer period of time, you can kind of browse, you can really kind of get in the weeds with stuff or not really having a purpose. So a lot of times if I'm going thrift store shopping, I know, Hey, I really want to find a cool pair of jeans or a fun oversized sweatshirt or something, or I'm always looking for vintage t-shirts cause they're just super fun, soft, all of that. So I usually have something in mind, but if you, if you just want to go and shop, that's totally fine, but definitely allow yourself enough time. It's not going to be like running in and out of Target, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. so don't think you're going to zip in and out. You can, but you're probably not going to leave with like super cool items. In my opinion, you're probably just kind of skimming the surface when you're yeah, there. Yeah, totally. That, that kind of brings me to the one, the only way that I ever go secondhand shopping or that I'm comfortable with is if I have a very specific item that I'm looking for, because otherwise I just get so overwhelmed. Yes. I'm like, oh my gosh, yes. this is so much. I don't have time to look through all this. And I feel like I need to look through, through every single one. So like the last thing, I guess this was the last thing that I got secondhand, but I really wanted an, um, an orange mini skirt. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, it was when we were to Key West like two years ago. Yeah. And I had this idea in my head, I wanted like a white button down and an orange mini skirt. And so I was just scoured the oh my like everywhere for it, and I did finally find it on Thread Up. So okay. that was great. But yeah, that's my only way that I ever do it because it's just so overwhelming. There's yeah. so much stuff. Yeah. And even when I go and I'm I, like I'm not even usually that specific. It'll be kind of like okay, fun bottoms, fun mm -hmm. jeans. Okay. Like that is like totally finding like a needle in a haystack. It, of course, it could be done. Yeah. But that's like 
You don't have to get that specific if you don't want. <laughs> you may yeah. end up getting upset about your choices. I feel like if I'm just like, I think I'm going to go look at coats. Yeah. I, I guess I, that would probably be okay. I can yeah. still go there and be like, I'm just going to focus on coats today and then let that be that. But And then if you see something belts. else, you see something else. Yeah. And that brings me to another question that I believe is on my list is what are some of like your favorite categories or do you think you have the best chance of finding a good item? Yeah. What categories yeah, are the yeah. best? So I never look for jewelry. Really? I, I, which is funny because I'm such a jewelry person. Why? But it's just always just crap, total crap. It usually is not. That is one thing that I don't feel like people often give away. If oh, it's, yeah. They're not going to, if it's like a, a nicer piece, they're either going to hand it down to someone mm. or maybe they will try to sell it or they're still holding on. So I have had very little luck. It's not usually like real silver or real gold. Yeah. It's, it's one like thing if you it. want something fun, like kind of a chunky necklace or something, but I rarely look for jewelry. And again, that says a lot because I am a jewelry person. <laughs> um, I also draw the line at shoes. I don't usually look for shoes because because you it just kind of grosses me out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't really wash them and everything else you can yeah. kind of wash in a, some way, shape or form. So I personally don't look for shoes. <laughs> when you say it like that, it does seem kind of like you know. <laughs> I know. Now, however, I have found some awesome bags. You can always find fun bags. Like I found a fun like bowling bag, if you know oh. kind of what that is, like a bowling ball bag. Yeah. It's just, it's super cool. Um, I've also found... You found I'm, a really cool coat one time. Remember that yes. one that you like had? It was like a... Oh my god. What gosh. would you call that? Like a cape coat? Yes, it was a cape coat. And it had like fur, fake fur on like cheetah print or something right there, like yeah. on the neck and just tan throughout. But like that was out of necessity. So literally we went on That's a trip, right. remember? Yeah. We went for um, our cousin's wedding. It was in Wisconsin and it was like way colder than we even expected. And I was like, I got it. No, no, it was your husband, my brother, who did not have a coat. That's why we went to that store. Was it? That sounds about right. <laughs> or shoes or something. <laughs> he didn't have something. And I stumbled upon this and I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing, like, I think it was missing a couple buttons, but that's an easy fix to me. Mm -hmm. Like, just give it all new buttons and it's no big deal. You don't have to worry about finding it. Um, along the lines, though, of, like, accessories and stuff. So, I have had some of my best things with, like, scarves I always have good luck with. I belts I have never had good luck with really it's, yeah man I would think that would be a really what about like the men's section I feel like it would be fun to have, find like yeah. a really good broken in leather yeah. and you know what maybe I need maybe I just wasn't I just haven't or maybe that's one thing that people just always go to and they're just always picked over I don't think so I think yeah it's probably I probably one of those that things that, a good one. yes and maybe I just I don't wear a lot of belts anymore yeah. I kind of have but just I, not on your radar. But now, yeah. like I would like to do. I'm like, hmm, am I going to go out and, and do that? Yeah. Um, but like one of my favorite things that I have found was a scarf. And it was like an Oscar de la Renta scarf. Oh, wow. And like I liked the colors. It was blue. And then I saw it and I was like, oh, yes, yeah. I love this. I love this. So that was definitely like one of my best finds I ever nice. had. Um, denim always have good luck with denim. Mm -hmm. These pants I'm wearing right now actually are thrifted. Nice. They're like old Levi's. They're fabulous. Um, I almost always have good luck with, with some kind of denim because especially because the, the trends just kind of recycle with it. So people are constantly, I feel like getting rid of yeah. their Plus their like jeans. jeans are so specific. Like what fits me perfectly might not fit you and vice yeah. versa. And so people probably get, they get rid of the jeans that don't fit them perfectly, but they're like a perfect you know, a pair of jeans. Yeah. And the other thing is if you found something that you loved, you could always get it altered too. Like, yeah. especially with like something that's worth it. Like these are Levi's. I'll have them for the rest of my life. Yeah, you know? exactly. But if they didn't work, I could easily get them altered. Yeah. I like that category that I usually have really good luck with is blouses. Like work blouses. Yeah. Like a going out. Like I just feel like huh. if you can kind of, go in with an eye of like how to style it pretty well you can find some really cool things whether it's like funky patterns that people have kind of outgrown that you yeah. can kind of ooh, I'll put it under a vest or I'll put it under like with denim or yeah. something like that I I just tend to have a lot of luck with 
with black true like blouses i feel like <laughs> i feel like i don't i don't uh, yeah no no not not i just i don't, I don't <laughs> think i think i don't think i would i guess because my my experience going into secondhand stores in the top section it's like i don't want anything to do with most any of that then i'm just like okay this is like so not where i need to be right now yeah um and I think that's another thing, like just because it works for me, it may not work for you. You'll have to kind of find yeah, where you want to look through too. Like I, I, I almost always look at tops because like yeah. I said, I, I like We said you like the t-shirts. Yeah, that would be them. a good one. Yeah. Um, and like vintage sweatshirts and sweaters, like those to me are always worth looking at because I love like an oversized sweater. They're easy mm -hmm. to find a size because I'm not super specific about what size I want. Yeah. And like I said, even with the blouses, if it's oversized, I find some way to use it. Me, that's yeah. just me personally. Um, I have you? Do you ever look at the men's section for clothes? Like yes, the the time I look in men's section would be for those things, like either a small sweatshirt or t-shirts. Other than that, yeah. And I'll look in like little kids sections too, <laughs> specifically for the t-shirts. Like little teeny tiny ones? <laughs> no. <laughs> no like a baby tee? <laughs> a little crop top. <laughs> no, but I mean like a youth extra large would no, fit Yeah, that would fit you. you. <laughs> fit like my big toe. Um, <laughs> I can see how that would work. Yeah. Okay, you may have already answered this, but what is the coolest thing you've ever found secondhand? And then how did you find it? Did you just like stumble across it or? It's always stumbling across. Yeah. Across it. Like, yeah, it's like when you're looking for something, it's really hard to find yeah, it, right? Yeah. yeah. I think that Oscar de la Renta scarf is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I've, I've just found super cool scarves, which yeah. I, and I'm talking about like a silk kind of scarf. So like you could either wear it around your neck or a lot of times I'll tie it onto a purse, mm -hmm. that type of thing. Um, I've had really good luck with that and really good luck with, with like jeans. I mean, those are kind of yeah. some of my favorites because they're just kind of staple pieces and I've had them for years and I, I know they'll last for years. Yeah. Have you ever had to fight anyone over an item? No, <laughs> no, no. Everywhere. Cause I've never gone when they have like super specials or like that, when it gets crazy, that's not my jam. It's already yeah. kind of it's like a wild enough. Day. Yes, exactly. Now you can find really good deals. Then, but you can find pretty good deals no matter yeah. what day you're going. I haven't had anybody fight me over anything, but that toilet paper holder that I have in my bathroom, yeah. I got at a Goodwill. There's a really good one in Ocala, Florida. Okay. I haven't been there a long time. Shh, don't, 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 don't tell the people your secrets. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I remember going in there, I'm like, oh, this is a really nice yeah. one. And I got this nice toilet paper holder for like $2, and this woman was like following me around. Yeah. And then when I got to the register, she came up behind me and she said, oh, you got my toilet paper holder. And I was like, uh, I did not know this was a this hot commodity. Was, it's not, I mean, it was sitting there on the shelf. It's, and I said, so I think what I surmised, cause she was like, you got my, you know, I hope you enjoy that. I hope you really like that or something. And I guess she was wanting me to give it to her or something. I don't know. But, um, but from her kind of like getting all up in my space about it, it made me think that she had it at one point, maybe put uh. it back thinking about it and then here I come in like do 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 to do like that looks nice and to pick it yeah, up and she's just like cringing yeah. but so it was hold like, on to your it items. was almost like I feel like if it wasn't a lot of people in that store that she <laughs> would have been like, like yeah it's so fine good. give it back and I would have been like fine you yeah. take it <laughs> it's fine oh I just thought of another awesome item that I've found so jackets like that one jacket we talked about the cape yes. jacket definitely a top pick, but I also found a members only jacket. Oh, I feel like was super cool. Tell me about this. That yeah. was like fun. It, just like in a oh, Milton, Florida, just like a yeah. random. Yeah. And like now I will say like the lining of it is tore. Like I need to stitch it, but it, it works fine. It's not like, yeah. I, so I have found some cool jackets, even this jacket, my little Again, I didn't just, mean to both do to <laughs> them today. <laughs> My little Levi jacket, I end up putting patches on it, but got this at a thrift store. Yeah. Love oh, it. that seems Oversize. like a, that would be an easy one. Yes. A really good one to find secondhand is denim jackets. Yes, and it pretty sure it's a men's. It's, I mean, it's huge. Like, it's yeah. big, but it fits for what I want it to, to be. So you kind of have to see if... If, the, if what they're giving money to is important to you, you should do some research. So... 
Some people don't like specific thrift stores because of maybe what they stand for, if they are associated with a certain religion or certain political beliefs. So yeah. that is something that you can look into if, if you have strong beliefs one way or another. Or um, You may have answered this one already, but what clothing items do you think are easy to find secondhand? Um, like actually like in fashion, not like out of style or whatever. Good condition, not hard to find good ones, and... That was the end of the question. <laughs> <laughs> so like I said, I think denim is always a good one to look for. And same with, even like we were saying, like blazers or jackets. I think you'd be able to find something that's either classic and never goes out of style mm -hmm. or something that you can kind of make fashionable and make, make on trend. Yeah. Blouses are a little bit harder. Like I said, they, I personally love finding blouses, but some of them are straight up from the 80s and you have to like and not in like some a good way. way and not like, in not like, like it came back around again you it's have like it to just, find it was left in the 80s yes <laughs> or like and if you have a good eye and like a fun if you like being creative with things and you can make it work but i wouldn't go looking for like a top that you're gonna wear out tonight like you probably have to have some yeah. thought into it and that makes sense. sense like do some do your own twist yeah. to it sometimes you can find really fun sunglasses i will just oh, say okay. that yeah just this a little I never thought, I've never thought about donating my sunglasses. Yeah. I, mean, I have a lot of them, but I just feel like I either use them or they just, I don't know, I then left on a restaurant table or something. Yeah. <laughs> so I never am able to donate them. What about thrift stores versus consignment? Like, did, like the Goodwill type places versus a consignment? Okay, so the difference between those stores is, like a consignment store would be, you probably would find higher end items because people are trying to sell them to make a profit. So they still feel like it has some kind of value to it. Has them. some kind of value, they can get something for it. So they are consigning their own items and hope to, you know, make something for it. Whereas like a thrift store, people are just donating stuff. Now, a cons like I said, a consignment you can usually find maybe nicer bags or nicer jewelry or belts, like those types of things or in clothing obviously. Um, but you are going to pay a higher price yeah, too. Makes so sense. that's, you know what you're going to be able to find at those places versus also like at a thrift store, you're going and you're just hunting. Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. I haven't been to a consignment store in a long time. I feel like yeah. they used to be everywhere. Now I don't really see, I see, uh, secondhand stores, but not necessarily a consignment store. Yeah. Anymore. I feel like we have very few and the ones that we do have are kind of, they're overrun with things, so a lot of mm -hmm. times they're not even accepting. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Do you ever buy secondhand mm -hmm. home goods? Oh, yeah. And I think that that's a big thing for people right now. If you like to, like, DIY mm -hmm. and repurpose yeah. something or, like, paint it. Listen, I'm not going out and painting a whole bunch of stuff. I want to be that person, but I'm not that person, okay? Yeah. It just takes a lot of time, but I applaud the people that do but it's so funny. Like I was in Target this week and the artwork I saw there that's new that they're selling is stuff that you can go to a thrift store and just find. Oh, like a, a vintage landscape piece. Yeah. Go to the thrift store and buy it for 25 cents versus $25 at Target. That yeah. to me is like a no brainer. So it's a fun place to find frames, even if you're not going to use whatever is in the pick whatever is framed yeah the artwork could suck but you could put your own art you could find just just really cool frames um and just unique pieces you can always find cool vases a lot of times you can find like neat like candlestick holders toilet paper holders toilet like, like, my, ba my bathroom would have never thought <laughs> to buy that but i love it so i love that's actually one of my favorite things to thrift is stuff for the home. Just like cool pieces. A lot of times you can find old books that are just maybe the right colors for something that you want to use in your decor. Yeah. I love doing that. I mean, you can find cool baskets, love. Oh, Some yeah. Baskets. I mean, that would definitely be one to definitely look for secondhand. Yeah. I, I like the idea of like finding those unique things because it would be like right now, I think, you know, everybody's. There's so much social media that uh, so many um, ideas on social media about like your house that everybody's 
everybody's decor starts to look the same. Like yeah. this thing I have up here. I mean, I fully <laughs> saw this whole thing on not not this. I love it. Yeah, but like the, just black and white picture frames. Yeah. Like I saw it on somebody's social media. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I like that. That's clean looking. Doesn't look cluttered. Like let's do it. And so it's kind of nice to you know. And so when you go shopping at regular retail stores, they all have the same look. Yeah, I like, all have the same thing. All have whatever's trending. So it is nice to go to a thrift store and find something that you're not going to find at Target because yeah. that's just not what people are selling right now. Yeah. What about estate sales? I know that you have um, ventured into that yeah. market before. So when so I have I I have my own like online boutique vintage business. I now sell like some things on Etsy, but that is a really cool place to find things. You know what you're getting. So a lot of times the state sales, they'll advertise for it. They'll say specifically, this is what we are selling from these homes. If you don't know what an estate sale is, basically like it's the entire, almost everything in the house is for sale a lot of times. Yeah. Um, yeah and it's usually like really like very fancy houses and stuff, right? Yeah. So... This, oh, I found one of my favorite things ever. A brand new, new with tags, Prada skirt. Ooh. Vintage, though. Okay. Vintage, never worn, new with tags, Prada skirt. Actually, it was a two-piece outfit. It was like this, like, two-top thing and this gorgeous oh, wow. maxi skirt. I was, like, shocked. But a lot of times they'll say, okay, listen, we're selling high-end artwork. We're doing blah, 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 blah. Like, they will be specific about it. Um, I also went to one that was like selling um, like Gucci scarves or something like that. Turns out I don't think they were real, but oh, no. it was still fun. It was still fun <laughs> to go see. But uh, anyways, you know what you're getting into yeah. when you go to estate sales. That would That is a place that you could look for jewelry though, for yeah. sure. So you can find some really, really neat pieces of jewelry. Um, but you are going to pay... A little bit more money a lot of times though an estate sale will last probably a whole weekend by the last day things are 50 75 percent off so but do you find the good things at that not point necessarily like, mm -hmm. not necessarily it's, it's like not one earring yeah <laughs> yeah match. exactly one shoe <laughs> but you can find really cool like home pieces and yeah it, so that's like another Another app. Are there any, are there any other, ran as we close, are there any other random tips you have or like your best tips that you haven't shared already or just um, anything else you think that someone would want to know if they're going to go embark on a thrifting journey? <laughs> have fun. Just go with the idea that like you're going to find something and it's going to be great and it's going to be fun. To me, I've always liked it because it's like you're going on like a scavenger hunt, but you're not really sure what, what it is you're going to find yeah. at the end. Yeah. I love stuff like that. So, but I would just say have fun with it. Make sure you have enough time. And then it's just kind of trial and error. Like go, you'll have to, maybe one day you go to three different stores mm -hmm. and then you'll kind of start to see what they have. And then you can know which ones to go back to for certain things. One for home goods, one for clothes, whatever it may be. Um but just, yeah, just have fun with it and make sure you have enough time. Yeah, time is, I feel like, the key thing yeah. there. Because yeah. I think that's where I get overwhelmed is if I go somewhere, even in the Ocala one that I went into that I loved, I was on my way to Orlando. So it's not like I really had all the time in the world to just so go random. shopping. Um, so I'm like, oh my gosh, but then I get overwhelmed because I'm like, I don't have that much time. But there's so many things to look at. Like, yeah. ah, so yeah. that would be, that is a really great tip. Like, yeah. just have a day where you can spend the afternoon floating around to different stores. Yeah. yeah. I wish I could ask if anyone in the audience had any questions, but I can't because, well, I can. You can comment below and then maybe we'll do another video if there's yes. other questions. Yes. Um, but anyway, I hope this was helpful. It was definitely helpful for me. Um, I think this is a really interesting category and, you know, it's, there's so many ways to go secondhand shopping now. It's not just the ones that are locally, like in your hometown. You know, there's stores online like ThreadUp. Um, that's my main one that I go to. There's Depop, you know, places Poshmark. like that. Poshmark, you know, though there's just so many places to go find things that it's a really, it's definitely a market that needs to be tapped if you haven't yet. So anyway, thank you for watching and I'll leave uh, Erica's information below if you want some tips on organizing. And also she has a personal channel as well. Where are you going to post this video? 
I need to figure that out. I okay. need to figure that out. Well, we'll just put our information down here. Put all my info. <laughs> people can find our me. Our home address, yeah. our cell phone number, you know. <laughs> um, just kidding. But anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, we will see you next time.